Question 16 says that a vehicle travels one fourth of the total distance with speed v1 and the remaining with speed v2. Then we have to find out the average speed of the total journey. Dear students, let the total distance be d. Then the time taken in the first part will be equal to d by 4v1 and in the later part it will be 3d by 4v2. So this will be the total time taken. The average speed will be equal to the total distance divided by the total time. So we can substitute time here that will be d by 4v1 plus 3d by 4v2. On solving this expression we get a value of 4v1 v2 divided by v2 plus 3 v1 and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 3 now let us move to the question number 17 in this question an elevator of cabin height 1.2 meter starts ascending with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square one second after the start a loose bolt starts falling from the ceiling the time after which the bolt will hit the floor of elevator is dear students let us write down the acceleration of the bolt with respect to elevator it will be equal to 10 plus 2 that is g plus 2 so that will be 12 meter per second square the distance that the bolt has to travel with respect to the elevator is 1.2 meter so we can use the formula that s is equal to half at square where s is 1.2 a is 12 and t we have to calculate so the students on solving we get a value of t to be equal to 1 by root 5 seconds and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 1 now let us move to the question number 18. In this question the displacement time graph of a particle moving on a straight line is shown. The section of the graph which corresponds to the positive acceleration is. Dear students, for the positive acceleration, the displacement time graph is an upward parabola which means that for this question the answer is option number 4 as option number 4 mentions the part DE which is the upward parabola. Now let us move to the question number 19. In this question a particle moves a distance x as a function of time which is given we have to find out the proportionality of acceleration with the velocity. Now dear students it is given that x is equal to 1 by under root t plus 1 which means t plus 1 to the power minus half. The velocity will be equal to the differentiation of x that will be minus half t plus 1 to the power minus 3 by 2 and the acceleration will be further differentiation of the velocity that will be equal to 3 by 4 t plus 1 to the power minus 5 by 2. This can be further written as 3 by 4 t plus 1 minus 5 by 2 into 3 by 3. Dear students, we can write down this function in terms of the velocity as this acceleration will be 3 by 2 v to the power 5 by 3 and hence the proportionality of acceleration with velocity is to the power 5 by 3 making the option number 2 of this question as the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 20. In this question a ball is dropped from a high tower f t is equal to 0. After 10 seconds another ball is thrown downward from the same point with the velocity v. If two balls meet at t is equal to 15 seconds then the value of v is. The displacement taken by the first ball in 15 seconds will be half into g that is 10 into 15 square. The second ball travels through a time of 5 seconds only as it is projected 10 seconds after the first ball. So the displacement of the second ball will be ut that is v into 5 plus half into a that is 10 into 5 square. We can solve this expression and find out the value of v which will be equal to 200 meter per second making the option number 3 of this question as the correct answer. Now dear students let us solve the question number 21. 